When I was taking my break this morning, it was it was sunny and it was raining, which was yeah. weird. But like it wasn't just <laughs> raining, it was pouring and it was sunny outside. And that's what you can expect today. I keep telling people I'm like this past weekend, that was that beach day for you. Yeah. I know uh, today you want to take the boat out, go to the beach, maybe uh, some seeing some challenges as you head out the door this morning. Skyview 2 Network overlooking the Charleston Harbor, uh, scattered showers and storms. Some areas seeing rain, some areas are seeing just clouds. Some of you uh, lots of sun. I was checking out all of our Skyview 2 Network cameras and uh, there's different parts of the area seeing some sun and some clouds and some rain uh, as you head towards the rest of this week. We're going to get a bit more organized. Most of us going to be dealing with rain and clouds outside. So today's that transitional period is what I keep saying as we have a front that's going to be passing on through as you head towards the rest of your afternoon and evening back home though. Ask for rain right now. Most of this uh, just isolated small scattered showers near our coastal area. So if you are out and about, if you wanted to go to the beach today, I'm sure you're caught underneath one of these showers for a brief moment or so. More more rain is going to get here as we head towards the rest of our uh, week and into the rest of this work and school week. So satellite right now checking in. You notice we're seeing a bit more cloud cover outside as well as we get a bit closer to the afternoon hour. Current temperatures were in the mid 80s as you step outside Charleston 84 and Mount Pleasant low 80s near King Street 82 Monks Corner and 84 in St. George. Throughout the rest of your day today, hot and humid with afternoon storms, possible low 90s expected in Charleston and in Goose Creek, 91 in Mount Pleasant with 89 in King Street. Now, as you step out the door later this afternoon, like I keep mentioning, we're going to be dealing with a whole lot more coverage of that rain, especially as we head towards your afternoon. Scattered showers and storms, a few of us could be dealing uh, with some isolated pockets of heavier rain. Uh, but overall, as we get that front that's going to pass on through, then stall off our coast, then by Tuesday and Wednesday, more cloud cover outside, showers and storms, rounds of that can be expected throughout the rest of this work and school week. So for Labor Day today, tonight, if you do have some plans this evening, mostly cloudy skies, dealing with some thunderstorms still as your overnight hours with 73 in Charleston, 72 Mount Pleasant, 69 King Street, 71 in St. George, and 72 in Walterboro. And here's the cause and effect of a lot of rain and a lot of cloud cover these next few days. We're finally getting that cool down we've been waiting for. I know it was hot and humid um, all weekend long. Bit of a break by Tuesday and Wednesday, but it does come at a price. That's six degrees below that average for this time of year. And as you take like, a look on the 10 day, you see uh, the relation between that for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, mid 80s, but more rain, a higher risk of rain and more coverage as you head towards the rest of this work and school week, even into your next weekend. We're really not going to be getting a break from this anytime soon. So as you get closer to the coast today, islands and beaches forecast. Most of us going to be dealing with rain as you head towards your mid 80s today. Most of us going to be in the low 80s as you head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. And here's the reason why a lot of rain on the way. Make sure you have your rain gear close by. Prepare for this as you head towards your next week.